Hey Google, turn off my home light. Sure, turning the home light off. Hey Google, turn on my home light. Okay, turning the home light on. What's up guys, this is Anurag back with another video in which I will show you the unboxing of the Sonoff 4KH Pro Wi-Fi Smart Switch. So if you don't know, then let me tell you, with the help of this device, you can automate your home appliances. You can control them by using wireless remote, mobile app and artificial intelligence. So without wasting any more time, let's begin with the video. So I have imported this device from China through banggood.com for around 1800 Indian rupees. And also these device is available in India but the cost is very high compared to the Chinese websites. So if you want then you can purchase from Chinese website but it will take 20 to 30 days on the free shipment option. Now we'll quickly unbox the device. After purchasing this you will get this type of box. On the front side of the box we have shown off branding and some features mentioned like inching mode, interlocking mode and self locking mode. And like I said it supports Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. On the bottom side, it says it has app support that call EV link. Next, it also has remote control support on 433 MHz wireless band. But the remote is not included in the box. If you want, then you can purchase it separately. Next, we have three different modes that I will explain later in this video. Moving on, on the top side, we have the technical specification mentioned. In wireless, it can support 2.4 GHz wireless band and it can also support 433 MHz radio frequency to operate the remote. In the input, it can support both AC and the DC. For AC is 90V to 250V and for DC 5V to 24V. The max load it can handle for AC is 250V and for the DC 30V and it can support current up to the 10A. So you can use the electronic appliances that supports max current up to the 10A. Because it can handle max current up to 10A, you cannot use your air conditioner as AC requires 16A. But if you wish to use it, then you can buy Sonoff TS60 or the Sonoff POW for that. Moving on, opening up the box, you will first get the user manual and the device itself. User manual is available in the both the languages, English and Chinese. So if you want to read, then you can pause this video and read that. Now we'll see the physical overview of this device. On the left side, we have the four individual buttons for the four channels. And on the right, we have the four LEDs for the channel and one more LED for the Wi-Fi. At the bottom, we have all the input and output ports for AC and DC. On the back side, we have the DIN rail mount enclosure. Now I will open this box and I will show you the internal components of this device. To open this device, there are four screws on the back side. I will quickly remove them and show it to you. As you can see, there are four individual relays for the four channels. And as you can see, the PCB construction is very good. On the back side, they have also kept the cutouts between the relays. And on the bottom side, you will see the table for the K6 timing switch to set the delay. And on the front, there are three switches for the modes K5, S6, and K6. Now I will explain the use of these buttons and functions of these three different modes. First mode is self-locking mode. In this mode, you can turn on or off four connected devices instantly and separately. To set this mode, toggle all K5 switches to one and set K6 to one, like you are seeing on the screen. Second mode is interlocking mode. In this mode, you can turn on one device every time and turn off other devices at the same time. Means you can enable one device at a time and by default this device comes with interlocking mode means all toggle switches are set to zero third mode is inching mode in the inching mode you can turn on the connected device for 0.25 to 4 seconds in zone of 4ch pro or 1 to 16 seconds in zone of 4ch pro r2 then after the specific delay it will auto turn off the channel to set this mode toggle all K5 switches to 0 and S6 to 1 and for the delay set the K6 switch according to this table. In this animation the delay is set to 1 second. You can also set some devices in inching mode while others in self locking mode. Now let me show you how to add this device into a mobile. First make sure you are connected to Wi-Fi 
and download and open the app called EV Link. Here, register and log in with your account. Then give the power to the device and hold any channel button for 7 seconds until the Wi Fi LED starts fast blinking. Now, your device is in pairing mode. After login, press the add new device button. Select the normal device and enter the password of your Wi Fi. Then click on next. It will take 1 or 2 minutes to connect and register this device onto their servers. Once it's done, it will ask you to give the name and now you can control the connected devices. Here you can see the 4 individual button for the 4 individual channel. Click here to go inside. Here you can share the devices between the users. You can also schedule the switch on or off function and you can also set the timer to control the device. If you go into the settings, here you can rename the individual channels and you can also find the update firmware option. And you can also set the power on state. It helps to control the device state. For example, I have connected the light on the channel 1 and right now it is turned on. If suddenly my power goes down and comes up, then as per my setting, the light will turn on. So this was the first part of my home automation project where I showed you the unboxing and the features of Sonoff 4 ch Pro R2. In the next video, I will show you a detailed guide how you can automate your home using this device. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions for this video, then do let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching this video. This has been Anura and I will see you later guys.